Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn how to test the child component from the parent component. So here, if you try to see, this is the post.component.ts file. So this, in the template, if you try to see, this contains a child component that is nothing but app hyphen post. Up to now, what we have did, we have tested only the single component. Now, in this video, we will see how to test the parent component along with its child component. So that means we need to see that whether we are passing the data correctly to the child component or not. And also we need to check that the data is there in the child component. And also we need to check that exactly the child components are created or not. So let's try to see in this one. So here, if you try to see, this is the post.component.spec.ts file. So this is the testing file. And here in the previous video, we have added a fake post component. Why? Because we need to test it isolately, this post.component.html file, sorry, the post component. So for that reason, so I have created a fake child component. So right now we need to test the parent component along with its child component. So now we, we need to add the real post component. So that means this is the, the real post component, this one. Okay. So for that reason, so what we need to do, we need to remove this component. Okay. So we have removed this component and instead of adding the fake post component, we need to add the real post component. Okay. So when we add the real post component, automatically thus that app iPhone post will be existing. So there will be no errors. Now here we are getting a component fixture dot component instance. So now the second one, what we need to do is we need to test the first scenario here in the post dot component dot ts file, HTML file how many posts are existing so those many child components has to be created for example let's say that you are having a post data let's say the of length of count three three posts you are having so that means so you need to check that exactly four four posts if you are having means four child components only need to be created so we need to check that exactly four child components are created or not we need to check that one. So let's try to see this one, how we can test it, the child component, exact real child components, we need to test it. So now if here, if you try to see the post.spec.ts and here we need to write it should create exact same number of post component with post. Okay. So like this. Okay. Now here, what I need to do. So first we need to, we have a fixture. So first we need to do the fixture dot detect changes. So whenever I call this fixture dot detect changes, so what it will try to do is it will call the ng on init, right? So it will call ng on init. So not only it will call the parents ng on init, the child components, whatever the child components present in the parent template. So these ng on init also will be called. So you need to remember this one in mind that not only this parent ng on init, the child's ng on it also will be called. So now I have written fixture dot detect changes. Let's try to test it once npm test. I am testing it. Let's try to test it. So now it has been successful here. We got it one failed. What is that reason? We got failed. So let's try to see the here. It is telling that cannot read properties of undefined reading and sub subscribe. So what is the problem here we are having? So whenever we call this fixture, fixture dot detect changes immediately, ing on init will be called and here we are having get post. It is calling the post service dot get post. So as we are having the post service, a mock post service because of that reason. So it is not able to get the subscribe thing. So what we need to do, we need to add the mock post service this one. So return value. So we have added this one. Now when we call this fixture dot detect changes, now we are able to get the output. Now what I need to do? So first one, so we have did, did the detect changes. When we did the fixture dot detect changes, we'll get the post. So how many length we are having? Post dot length is having three posts. So that means exactly three posts, three child components need to be created. So what we need to do here? So I will be, we need to get post. So here I will try to write the constant post component DEs, okay, debug elements. So here I need to write fixture dot debug element dot 
we need to do the query all why because we will be having multiple child components we need to do the query all query all by dot so now what i need to do by dot so we are having css and a directive we need to use this time directive why because we are searching for the component so now child components now you may you may be getting doubt that why we are using the directive we are we are need we need to check the components right why we are using this one is a component and we are searching with a directive in angular inbuiltly so the component is nothing but a directive itself so angular inbuiltly it considers the component as a directive itself so we are considering this one as an a com component so why because we are writing with an element tag so whereas normally the directives we will be writing as an attribute something like router link and all those things we will be writing it as attribute attribute for an element but the components we can also write the components as a, uh, directives as an element and this component inbuilt angular will consider it as an directive only so that is the reason so we are trying to write the directive and what i can write here so we need to search for the post component okay so we need to search for the post component so when you do this query all by di by dot directive of post component so what is the thing you will be getting is you will get the debug elements okay debug area of debug elements now what i need to do so i will try to check that expect of okay expect of post component d is dot length okay so the total length the how many child components are created it should be equal to to equal to post dot length so post means how many posts you are having those many components post components it need to be created so let's try to see the output so if i try to see the output here see successfully we are able to get the output so here it should create one post child element for each sorry it should set post from sorry why is that one it should create exact it should create exactly same number of post component along with the posts so how many posts we are having so exactly same number of post component should be created and it has been created so if you try to see something like four let's try to see if we try to see something like four and now if you try to see the output so we need to get error so expected three equal to four so that means exactly three components are created how many how many post length are there those many components has created so what we have did here so we got the debug elements and how we got the debug elements through the by dot directive here we did we haven't used this by dot cs css we have used this by dot directive so this directive we need to pass the component so that it will traverse the debug element okay so this is how we will be testing the child component so now what we have did so we have tested this child components how many child components has been created in the parent component we have tested it using this by dot directive in the next video what we will try to do is so we need to test this child component again and we need to test that whether the data that we are passing the post is exactly passing to that child component or not we need to check it from the parent component let's try to do it in the next video hope you understood about this one how to test this child component from the parent component so this is nothing but we will call it as a deep integration test if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you